from San Francisco to Las Vegas, and to our third and final destination, Los Angeles. It felt like early summer here compared to San Francisco and Las Vegas. And what could be a better place to enjoy perfect sunny weather than Disneyland? Purchasing your tickets beforehand through travel websites saves you money and time, as you don't have to wait in line at the ticket booths. We begun our journey with these cute buttons. You can ask for them at any souvenir shop in the park. They're for free. As Disneyland is incomparably bigger than the amusement parks we went to back home, and is even divided into two themes, we chose Disneyland Park over Disneyland California Adventure Park for today. Just strolling around this land of fantasies gets you in a good mood. That mood may go down though once you stand in line for more than an hour to get on a ride. In that case, here are some tips. Make use of the fast pass service with which you can reserve specific rides or stand in the single rider line. We were lucky that not only our wait time got shortened to one-fifth of the regular time, but sometimes we even got to enter the ride together, not as a single. One thing you can't miss are the colorful musical parades that occur throughout the day. And one thing you should set your alarm for is the nighttime fireworks show over the Sleeping Beauty Castle. After our first Disneyland experience together, we met a friend in downtown for a late night snack and beer. Speaking of food, our favorite meal during our stay in LA was at this Mexican place. For some arts and culture indulgence, we checked out the famous Getty Museum, one of the most visited museums in the US. Entrance is free, but you'll be pleasantly surprised by the extensive art collection ranging from middle age to contemporary masterpieces. Here we are at another popular tourist attraction, the Santa Monica Pier. There are a number of parking lots along the beach, but the entrances are right beside the highway, so be careful. Also, be on the lookout for parking lot spikes, which we were not familiar with, so make sure to differentiate between the entrance and exit to avoid a flat tire. Until late night, the pier was packed with visitors who enjoyed themselves with rides at the amusement park or Pacific Park, arcades, restaurants, street performances, souvenir shopping, and just spending quality time with friends, family, or lovers. The Walk of Fame in Hollywood and a quick trip to Beverly Hills. And the finale of our two days in LA, the Griffith Observatory. For La La Land fans like me, a must. Inside, you'll be educated on astronomy with extensive space and science-related displays and planetarium shows. This pendulum was very eye-catching. We then went outside to get a view of the moon, stars, and the entire city on our last night in Los Angeles and the US. We hope you enjoyed our three-part VR trip and see you again.